Casey Miller grew up in Brewster in the Elm Street Apartments and graduated from Fairless High School in 1994. While at Fairless, she was a cheerleader, ran track, was student council president, and a member of the National Honor Society. Casey was recognized as Akron Beacon Journal Student of the Week. She was selected as Homecoming Queen and the Brewster Dairy Chip and Cheese Festival Queen. After high school, Casey attended Ashland University and studied political science. She was an Ashbrook Scholar and graduated in three years. Casey served as Student Senate President and a resident assistant in the dorm. While at Ashland University, a professor gave her the best advice which she has followed throughout her life. If you want to be extraordinary, be willing to do what no one else wants to do. This became Casey's motto as she took on difficult assignments in the military. After college, Casey joined the Navy and became a Naval Intelligence Officer for seven years. She was promoted to lieutenant and served on an aircraft carrier deployed to the Middle East. While in the Navy, Casey got a master's degree from the Naval Postgraduate School and she used the GI Bill to get a PhD in political science from the University of Hawaii. While in the Navy, Casey was awarded several medals including the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal, Navy Achievement Medal, and the Global War on Terrorism Medal. After seven years in the Navy, Casey resigned and married Bob Lucius, a Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel. They moved to Vietnam where Casey worked for the U.S. Ambassador at the U.S. Embassy in Hanoi. While in Hanoi, the U.S. Embassy hosted several VIPs, including President Bush and Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld. In 2008, Casey and Bob returned to the United States and lived in Pacific Grove, California for nine years. There, Casey taught national security decision-making for the U.S. Naval War College in Monterey. She and Bob had a son, Bobby, and Casey ran for the local city council where she was elected and served for four years. In 2016, Casey also ran for the U.S. Congress. She lost the election but learned a great deal throughout the process. Casey believes that instead of complaining about your school, your city, or even your country, you should step up and offer solutions. Be willing to jump in and do the work to make things better. Casey wrote a book called Scrappy Campaigning about the lessons learned on the campaign trail and the courage it takes to promote your own values in the face of national criticism. In 2017, Casey, Bob, and Bobby moved to Naples, Florida to be closer to family. Casey began working with local governments in Florida and ultimately landed with the city of Marco Island where she works as the assistant city manager. Casey loves living close to the beach and being able to see her family. She continues to support veterans initiatives and participated in an honor flight with World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam veterans. While Casey loves living in Florida, her heart is always in Brewster, Ohio. Her best friend from eighth grade, Amy Loretta, worked at Fairless High School for many years and Amy's mom, Karen Keene, nominated Casey for the Hall of Honor Award for Public Service. Casey is grateful for her mom, Betsy, and her sister, Shannon, for their support and encouragement. Casey said, My mom taught me to be brave. She always believed in me. And when someone believes in you, it gives you courage to be brave and jump into any situation and thrive. Casey would like to thank all of the Fairless staff and teachers who gave her the foundation she needed to be successful. Your tireless efforts are worthy and appreciated. Congratulations to Casey Lucius. Greg Colliner is the son of Richard and Helen Colliner. Greg's parents owned a family business in Navarre from 1958 to 1979. Colliner Hardware where Greg learned to treat customers and people in need. He attended elementary school at St. Clements in Navarre. He played Little League Baseball. He was also a scout. He wasn't very good at sports, but it kept him busy. Greg's class of 75 and everyone around them had an amazing amount of school spirit. Greg has gotten many high school honors, such as Outstanding Senior Boy, Outstanding Social Studies Student, a Freedom Day Award, National Honor Society, an Honor Thespian, a Thespis Award, and Student of the Month. Greg has many high school memories, such as the Walkathon Fund for a senior class trip to Washington, D.C., raising enough for every student, as well as setting the blood drive record. Senior prom was a lasting memory for Greg, a time to celebrate moving on. While attending Bowling Green University, Greg earned many honors and awards, including the Bowling Green State University Distinguished Service Award, Who's Who Among Students in American Universities and Colleges, nominee for Outstanding Young Men of America, becoming a member of Kappa Delta Pi Education and Phi Kappa Phi Honor Societies, and the Bowling Green State University Student Advisory Committee. Greg served on the Navarre Village Council. He also served as a volunteer firefighter. From 2003 to 2021, Greg held the position of Ultra Care President. During this time, he was responsible for management, operations, financial performance, and staff development for 25 rehabilitation and nursing care facilities throughout Ohio and one in Michigan. Altercare made some amazing improvements during his time as president, and also earned industry recognitions. The American Healthcare Association has awarded national quality awards to 24 locations, including the first and only two AHCA Gold in Ohio. 
AlterCare has received the North Coast 99 Award for 16 consecutive years. Recognition given to the 99 top workplaces in Northeast Ohio. To celebrate his retirement and the Italian part of his heritage, they went to Italy with some friends, some of which he's known since first grade. Greg married his wife in 1984. They will have been married for 37 years on November 17, 2022. They raised three sons, Alex, Max, and Brock, who married Kelly Colliner, Lindsay Colliner, and Jessica Colliner. Together, they've given Greg eight grandchildren. Congratulations, Greg Colliner. Born in Navarre to Mary and Harry Myers, the youngest of three children, Jane, showed a flair for the dramatic at a young age. A 1975 graduate, Jane was the starting center for the girls' basketball team in the National Honor Society, Pep Club president, and an all-in member of Falcon Playhouse. After high school, Jane majored in theater at the University of Tulsa before heading to New York City in 1978. After three years producing and performing with an off-off-off Broadway theater company, her words, not mine, Jane landed her dream job in the wardrobe department of the film Blue Steel. Here's Jane with her mentor, Ingrid Price, on the set of Six Degrees of Separation with Stockard Channing. Ingrid taught her everything she needed to know to succeed in the film business. Jane met Larry Williams playing softball in Riverside Park. They got married in 1994 and had two children, Arch and Ella. They moved to Edina, Minnesota, in the year 2000, but they loved traveling back east to the ocean. Jane and her family were part of a community theater for 10 years. As a volunteer, Jane was a costumer for all of her kids' school plays. Along with Halloween. And technically Christmas, because there's a Christmas tree in the background of this picture, but suspend your disbelief. In Jane's professional life as a 32-year member of the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, Jane has worked in the costume departments of over 35 movies and TV shows. Jane has also done work as a commercial stylist for this adorable dog, and also this vaguely corporate advertisement for the Minnesota State Lottery. Girl, what are you typing on? There is no screen! Jane was hired as the head of children's programming at Edina Morningside Community Church in 2005. Morningside Theater was created in 2010 as a summer theater with just nine neighborhood children in its first production. In its 13 years, it has grown to serve over 200 children year-round. Jane has rubbed shoulders with the likes of Meryl Streep and Denzel Washington, but it is these young actors who bring her the most joy. After her final summer show at Morningside Theater, the SpongeBob musical, Jane retired, turning the role of artistic director over to her daughter, Ella. In retirement, Jane looks forward to traveling, going to the theater, and spending quality time with her family. Congratulations, Jane Williams. Scott Birch has lived his whole life in Brewster, Ohio. He is a 1980 graduate of Fairless High School and RG Jag Career Technical Center. While in high school, he was a member of Key Club and Vice President of Vocational Industrial Clubs of America at RG Drag. He was a three-year letterman and played defensive linebacker and offensive right guard. His team was AOC champions with a record of 8-2. and two. The All-AOC Football League chose Scott as honorable mention All-League his junior year and first team All-League his senior year. During his high school years, he was awarded many honors, including National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society. Scott was involved in the early job placement program at RG Drag his senior year and was placed at Worcester Iron and Metal Company where he worked for 11 years. When Scott's high school welding instructor was about to retire, RG Drag hired him to shadow his former teacher and take over the welding program. So he went back to school to further his training in welding and earn his teaching license. Mr. Birch has now been teaching welding and metal fabrication at RG Drag going on 33 years. Many of his students earn national welding certification before graduation and are employed by the welding industry the summer of their junior year and work full time their senior year. Mr. Burge and his students have designed and fabricated many projects throughout the community. One of the many includes the falcon that graces the front of Fairless High School. He coordinates and judges the regional and state welding competitions for Skills USA in Ohio. Mr. Birch has taught over 1,600 welding students in his career and placed over 90% of his students in the welding field. In 2016, Scott was nominated and selected by his welding peers across the nation to receive the Plummer Memorial Education Award in Las Vegas, Nevada. Scott has been married to his wife, Sue, for 40 years. She is also a 1980 graduate of Fairless High School in RG Drag. They have two children, Heidi and Holly, who both also graduated from Fairless High School. Scott and Sue are the very proud grandparents of eight grandchildren. 
Congratulations, Scott Burge. Davina Gosnell. Davina Gosnell is a 1960 graduate of Brewster High School. While growing up, Davina lived just a block away from the school. In high school, Davina was a class officer in the band, in National Honor Society, and in her high school plays. She earned her diploma from the Maslin City School of Nursing, her BSN from the University of Pittsburgh, a Master's of Science and PhD of Nursing from The Ohio State University. Gosnell joined the faculty of Kent State University in 1978 and served as Dean of the College of Nursing for 15 years. Davina worked at Kent State for 25 years and eventually became the Dean of the College of Nursing. She was appointed founding director of the Hiram College Nursing Program in 2006. Davina had been one of a hundred alumni transformers in nursing and healthcare by the Ohio State University College of Nursing. She was also chair of Board of Trustees of the Ohio Nurses Foundation and a member of the Board of Directors of UH Hospital's Gwaja Medical Center. She has held visiting consultant appointments with the World Health Organization in Papua New Guinea, Great Britain, and Denmark. Davina has achieved 40 years of experience in nursing and has earned countless honors. According to the Record Courier, she was recognized as being among alumni of the college who have deeply impacted the profession of nursing and the healthcare system, and for her contributions in nursing education leadership, global health initiatives and research, and publication. She is the recipient of awards from the Ohio State University College of Nursing and the University of Pittsburgh School of Nursing, as well as a Distinguished Service Award from Hiram College. She's also helped write a couple books about nursing, including one called Pressure Ulcers in Adults, Prediction and Prevention. Her class is still present in their high school reunions today. They continue to get together and celebrate occasions, such as their 80th birthdays that ensued just earlier this year. In 2010, at Davina's 50th class reunion, she said this in her speech. As children, we all dream of what we want to be when we grow up. For as far back as I can recall, I always wanted to be a nurse. I have had both professional and personal opportunities far beyond anything I could have ever dreamed of. After talking about her successes, downfalls, and achievements, at the end of her speech, she said, I have been blessed with a wonderful life full of rich experiences and great satisfaction, along with life's usual challenges, burdens, and grief. At each reunion, I recall Mr. Dennison reminding us how truly fortunate we are to have spent our formative years in a place like Brewster and to have had the education we had at Brewster schools. He is right, and I am very thankful to have been able to grow up in Brewster and to be able to attend all 12 years of my public school education just one block from home. After 40-plus years of service to the nursing profession, Davina retired surrounded with friends, family, and loved ones in support of her. Congratulations, Davina Gosnell. Tim Stith taught science and math at Navarre Elementary from 1973 to 1998. In addition to teaching for Fairless, Tim coached cross-country and track and was instrumental in getting the district to install the eight-lane all-weather track. He was the head coach for the district's first individual state champion and coached a state championship runner-up cross-country team. Tim was Stark County Track Coach of the Year in 1978, All-Ohio Cross-Country Coach of the Year in 1978, and All-Ohio Track Coach of the Year in 1979. Tim was Walsh University's first track coach. Tim was a master swimmer for 15 years and swam in the Y Nationals for two years in Fort Lauderdale. He was the boys swim coach for Perry High School for two years, Central Catholic High School for five years, and has taught the lifeguard course at Baylor's Beach. Tim was the waterfront director at Clays Park Resort for seven years. He was responsible for the guards, beach, and water slides. While in the classroom, Tim was head teacher at Navarre Elementary, president of the Fairless Education Association, and served on curriculum committees at the local and state levels. After Tim retired from teaching, he embraced his passion for working outdoors and landscaping. He and his wife created a waterscape in his backyard. Tim also acted as Brewster Village's very own director of beautification services for 17 years. Tim and Sharon loved to cruise and go boating. He also likes Mustang and BMW convertibles. Tim continues a lifetime of service as a member of many boards, is active as a cross-country, track, and swimming referee for OHSAA, and has officiated the state championships in all three sports. One of his greatest joys of teaching has been watching his students graduate and develop meaningful lives. 
Tim and his wife have been married for 24 years. Sharon has two daughters, Tim has two sons. Together they have five grandchildren and one great-grandchild. Mike, Tim's oldest son, was fourth in the 110 meter high hurdles at the 1991 state track meet for Central Catholic. Tim's youngest son, Kevin, graduated from the United States Merchant Marine Academy. He is captain of a container ship which sails between Jacksonville and San Juan. Congratulations, Tim Stith.